The St. Hell School Board may vote tonight on a plan that includes in-person learning. KCCI's Marcus McIntosh is live in Northern Pole County with what's being discussed. Steve, we're live in front of the St. Hell Community School District building where the school board, the Board of Education will meet, or the meeting rather started just minutes ago. Now they will meet now, they will meet and vote on their return to learn plan after they have a work session and after the community input. Now, the students are currently in a hybrid learning, to learning plan or they're doing it 100% online. We wanted to find out how other school districts are making in-person learning work. So early today, we went to Norwalk to find out. For the Norwalk Community School District, in-class learning has been the rule of thumb, but it was a rough start to the school year. COVID-19 sent 6th through 12th graders to hybrid learning and forced a one-day shutdown of the youngest elementary grade levels. After the first few weeks of school, though, things have gotten much better. We have had a mask mandate uh, since we started back to school. DT McGee is the superintendent of the Norwalk Community School District. He says adding masks to proper hand sanitation and social distancing is a formula that can equal in-class learning. That's definitely helped. Uh, so it's following CDC, Iowa Department of Public Health, Warren County Health Services guidelines and recommendations. We spoke with Warren County Health Services who are fairly certain they know where the students who test positive are not getting COVID-19. The students that we have um, that are positive in the schools are often, their exposure is from their own family. It is not necessarily occurring at school. Jodine DeVault says in-class learning does not have to mean the spread of COVID-19, but it will take a village to do what is necessary to keep the students from getting and spreading COVID-19. Working together with your schools and whatever staff that they have in charge of their COVID-19 program at the schools. Jodine DeVault with Warren County Health Services says as long as the data supports that students are not spreading COVID-19 as re readily rather as it is spread in the community, it is a benefit for the kids to be inside the classroom. 